In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to properly format your hard drive for your Fire TV stick. So if you got one of these drives, maybe you watched one of my older videos on how to expand storage. I'm gonna show you in today's video really quickly how to properly format that drive so that it works and how you can move apps between your stick and the external hard drive. Super important to know how to do that. So in today's video, that's what I'm gonna cover. Let's not waste any time. Let's get on the TV. All right, guys, so I've got you on the home screen here for the Fire TV stick. Now, as you can see here, I do not have an external drive attached to this at all. So if you go to my Fire TV, go to about, you're going to be able to see storage. I just have the 4.54 gigabytes of 5.33 gig available. Again, there's 4.5 available of five, Guys, if you do your stick the way I show you in my videos, you're gonna have plenty of storage. But if you want to add the extra storage, I'm gonna show you in this video right now how to do that. So uh, it, go ahead and watch that video if you haven't already on how to connect everything. What I have right now is I've got the OTG adapter and I've got a hub and I've got the powered adapter all connected already on this TV. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the external drive. Now this is a two terabyte drive and I'm gonna connect it directly into one of the USB ports on the uh, hub that I've got attached. Again, it's the hub that I shared with you in our videos. So when you connect that automatically, it should prompt you right here how you want to do it. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go device storage right here. Sorry about that pop up on the bottom right hand corner. I don't want to set up an Alexa theater. I don't know why I did that. Uh, all content on this USB drive will be erased. It, are you sure you have to say Yes, so go ahead and say yes. It will format the drive for you. Now again, this is the 4K Max. It's a little bit of a different process on the older 4Ks. I have another video on that. This is for the 4K Max. Guys, they're on sale right now. Now's the time to buy it. They'll even give you credit and on, at Amazon if you trade in your older Fire TV stick. So that's something to consider if that is something that you wanna do. Now don't forget, on the previous screen, you do have to do the device storage, not external storage. People make that mistake and then moving apps, accessing apps from the home screen, it's a little bit harder, okay? So this is what you wanna do, device storage. It will format this drive as you see right now. Just take a couple minutes and then I'll show you the next step. All right, as you can see, formatted complete. The larger the drive you have, the longer this process takes. It really only takes a couple minutes though, so be patient and go ahead and hit okay. Now, if you look at storage, you've got the 4.54 gigabytes of internal, but you also have 1.97 terabytes. That's two terabytes, guys, of external space. That is a lot. Now, if you set it up as device storage instead of external storage, when you download those apps, it will automatically go to your external space and you will be able to access them right from your home screen. That's very important to know that it will not go on your internal space if you went ahead and did it exactly as I showed at the beginning of this video. So let me show you an example of that. Now you can move it between your internal and external really easily. So let's go ahead and install an app. So we'll go to find, we'll go to app store. We're gonna go down and go to all categories. This is how you're going to find all of those awesome apps for the Fire TV stick. We'll go movies and TV because that's what I like and that's what I'm gonna show you here. And we'll just pick app Plex for the fun of it. So if you click on Plex and then you go ahead and click download. This will automatically download to your external storage. So the downloading process is slightly slower when you put it on your external storage versus your internal storage as far as the initial download, but it sure is nice to be able to have this externally. And then I'll show you how to access it directly and all of that good stuff directly from your external drive. Guys, this is a lot of fun. And I'm also going to show you how to move it between your external and internal if you decide to do that. Say you needed your drive on a different uh, fire stick. I, I can show you how to move it back to your internal storage on your Fire TV stick. The ability to have the extra storage will allow you to have hundreds of apps, will allow you to use apps like TV Mate or uh, IPTV Smarters to be able to use your IPTV to download and DVR content, which is awesome. And if you set it up properly, you can move this drive between sticks in your house and between your computer. So it's pretty cool to be able to take that external drive, go to another room, plug it into that Fire TV stick, and now have all that content, everything that you downloaded, all the DVR stuff. Pretty cool. All right. It has already downloaded. Now check this out. If you go to your home screen <clears throat> and then you go over here to your settings and then you go to applications. This is where everything's done right here. This is the magic section right here. Manage installs. You can see didn't take up any of my internal storage. Didn't really touch the external space because it's so large you can't even see the difference. 
click on Manage Install. Now you'll notice everything is doesn't have anything except for this one. Plex is the one I just did after I added the external storage and it has this little, looks like a little pin or something there. That means it's on your external storage. So if you click on it right here, you can now move it to your internal or move it back to your external right here within it. You can launch it, you can force stop it, you can, un you can clear it out, you can do all of the same features but move it between your internal and external right here. It's all done in your manage installed applications. So let me show you that you can actually launch it as well. So let's go to your home screen and then we're gonna go ahead and do what I always recommend if it's an app that you use all the time, and that's moving it to the front. So you're gonna go here, you're gonna hit the three dash lines and you're gonna to move to front. By doing that guys, it's now gonna be right here on your home screen, easy to access. Otherwise, all of your stuff's buried, especially when you start adding thousands of apps to your Fire TV stick, which you can now do. Right here, again, go all the way down and then pick the one you want, three dash lines, and you can move it, okay? So let's go back home. As you can see, Plex is right here in the front. Now, when you click on it, it will launch, and it's not on your internal Fire TV stick. It's not slowing it down, it's not taking up space. It is accessible to you directly from your external drive. There you go, now you have Plex. And again, this is straight from the external drive. Unplug it, plug it in another Fire TV stick, you can access it as well. Really cool feature. So that's how you move apps to and from your external hard drive. And I also shared in this video how to set it up. Make sure you set it up as a device storage, extremely important. Again, if you have an older Fire TV stick, slightly different process. I have another video on, on that. This is for, and the same with the Cube or the Fire TV edition. It's a different process for all of those. This is something that they added to the 4K Max, being able to add it as internal storage accessible without any other apps or any other setup. Really cool, almost worth the upgrade if you are interested in upgrading your Fire TV stick storage. Hope you enjoy this. Hopefully you learned something today. Now, if you are having issues with your moving of apps between your stick and your drive. Maybe you don't have that little pin that I talked about in the video. Well, that's because some apps are required to be on your internal drive of your Fire TV stick to properly function. That's not necessarily true. You can still load them up on your external drive, but you will need a program called Aptoid. Do have a video on Patreon where you can learn how to install Aptoid. Basically all it is is the Google Play Store on your Fire TV stick. So you're getting a whole new app store on your Fire Stick with a lot of apps. Now all those apps are going to go directly to your external drive when you do install it. So you don't you basically bypassing the Fire Stick's block on certain apps going to your external drive. So hopefully you learned something today guys. That's how you properly set up your Fire TV Stick's external hard drive and how you move those apps back and forth. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.